Hello, people of the future. This is Mary, aka Mercy Triumphs of the past. Technically, I have not even started my YouTube channel yet, but as I was running some errands today, um, I had an experience that I wanted to share and I didn't want to miss this moment. So I literally just got out of the car. I haven't even had lunch yet. Um, <laughs> and it's midday. So I'm running on fumes, but we're gonna do this anyway because I've never had an experience like this with an art supply. So I live in Nashville and there are several wonderful yarn shops in the area and I hope to be able to feature them in the future. Um, but there is one shop in particular that I wanted to visit and I visited there in the past and it's not exclusively yarn. It is called Smart Art and Craft um, and it is a thrift store for craft supplies. So um, I was brought to mind about this, this store because I'm on one of our local yarn stores um, email lists and they say if you need to de-stash anything or if you want to donate just bring it to our store and we'll go up and donate to Smart Supplies. So I needed to pick up something for a Father's Day project which gives you an idea about when this this video is being recorded. It's not yet Father's Day 2023. Um, so I got in there and I was amazed at the displays of yarn, first of all. I was amazed um, not only to see uh, some of the quality that I was hoping to find, but also some, um, some really interesting um, full skeins or cakes or just they have a they have a really great way to me of taking used yarn and making it um, sellable and approachable and fun. Um, and I saw they had a big display of knitting needles and I was thinking, ah, oh, do I really, do I really want to go there? And I, you know, but I didn't see any crochet hooks. It took me a minute to find them. And uh, above with the display of yarn that's organized into totes by color, um, there were some little like sterilite tubs, little plastic tubs of um, knitting needles or circular needles and then there was one of crochet hooks. So I thought I will check in here. Now um, one of the, if not the very first crochet YouTube channel that I ever subscribed to was Crystal at Bag O'Day Crochet and um, for a while now she's she's talked about how she loves hero hooks and they are aluminum, sometimes plastic crochet hooks. They are tapered rather than in line, and uh, they are no longer being made. They stopped being made in the 80s. So you can guess where this is going. Um, sure enough, I found a hero hook. I, well, it is a, it is a size I actually, I don't know. How do you two people do it to make the camera focus? It is a hero hook. It is a size I made in the USA. And this is a size that I love using. I use, I use I and J interchangeably. Um, and maybe at some point in the future, I'll pull them out because I really want to experiment with this one. I tend to use um, standard aluminum boy hooks. Um, and I'm really interested to figure out why Crystal loves these so much. Y'all, this hook, this beautiful vintage, hard to find hero hook was a dollar. So when I found it, I was just amazed. I, uh, I got an adrenaline rush. I started shaking. And I'm like, I'm not exaggerating at all. I, I have never had an experience like that with, a, with an art supply. <laughs> but that's not all because there were some other types of cro crochet hooks in there and uh, I just happened to find two more also hero here's a size uh, J also can you see that made in the USA and another size I hero made in the USA um, and so these are Afghan crochet hooks and uh, nice pink color too they kind of they match they all go together those like shades of pink that would be pretty together as a 
palette inspiration. I know you're getting the glare from um, the window, but very pretty. So um, I had to get all three. I had to. The longer ones were $2 a piece. Um, and I'm not, I'm not really big on yarn hauls. I'm really not. Um, and I have all the yarn that I need and more projects and things. I'm like, let me finish some things before I get more. But <laughs> there's always a but, isn't there? I did find, I don't know if this is Noro, um, but it, it's a little ball. You can see how they mark it there. Um, plain band. We have no idea what this is. Um, at some point I am going to do a little burn test because I suspect that it's um, natural fibers, but I could be wrong. But just the way that it's kind of peeling up, um, it's probably like a worsted weight, maybe DK, but it will be perfect to try with my new hero. I was going to say boy, my new hero hook. Oh my goodness. So this, this yarn has the kind of dusky rose, kind of avocado green, and uh, just some olive green in there too. Um, very pretty. Again, no idea. And that that's one of the joys I think of. If you're a, a treasure hunter, um, the Smart Crafts store is a great place for you. Um, and now it's not only yarn. It is There's a lot of quilt fabric. There's a lot of fabric. There's all kinds of vintage buttons. Um, there's all kinds of trims. Um, everything that you would find in your grandma's sewing basket is going to be there. Um, all kinds of wonderful things. So definitely recommend you going. In fact, here is some information. Now, a couple of times a year, they do a fill a basket sale. Um, so by the time you see this, this will be well over. But if you look down at the bottom, you have the address. If you know anything about Nashville, um, this is actually quite close to the Grand Old Opry. And so there's also some vintage shops. There's a little coffee shop over close to the Opryland Hotel and the Grand Old Opry. And then you can look on their website as well. So highly recommend. Um, wonderful place and uh, good for treasure hunting. And as I was doing errands, I had to stop by the library anyway. And wouldn't you know it, <laughs> sorry about that. Ah, my local library did have uh, the incomparable Tony Lipsy's, uh, the Tunisian crochet handbook, which I never thought I would check out. I never thought I would really get into Tunisian crochet. I love, uh, TL yarn crafts. I've enjoyed her, um, her work, but Tunisian crochet hooks are really pretty expensive. And so to me, that's a little cost prohibitive. Let me just do what I love. And if, you know, if I'm ever super interested, whatever, but I looked in the book and yes, you can indeed use Afghan hooks for Tunisian crochet. So that might be an experiment in the future as well. Now, I did take a few pictures on my phone and a little video on my phone. So I'm, I'm recording this now to get my first impression and reaction. But by the time you see this, I will have become familiar enough that, fingers crossed, hopefully I'll be able to drop in photos and I'll be able to put in that little video um, so you can get a sense of walking towards the shop and what to look for. Um, and I only really took photos of the yarn because that's my jam, um, but you'll get the idea. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble and be excited about a crochet hook. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I never thought, you know, the way Crystal talks about these, she says that she collects them and that they're really hard to find. I never thought I would hold one of these in my hand. Um, and it's, it's such a small thing. It's such a small thing. Um, but absolutely brilliant. And you know, I, um, last, if you can, you can tune out now. <laughs> this is, a, this is the little part of the story that I just love. Um, cause I was at, Goodwill, and I was trying to find a particular art supply for a Father's Day gift. And I was talking to the Lord about it. I wasn't really finding what I needed. I just had this idea that I would find it at the at the um, Smart Supplies. And sure enough, I, f I found what I needed there. But I just, I just love that um, I had this moment of hearing the Lord remind me about this place and then to find a treasure there. You know, it's a dollar treasure, but he knows our hearts. He loves us. And I wasn't even really expecting anything. It was just, people call it kisses from heaven. Um, anyway, 
made my day. You've made mine as well by listening to me ramble about this. If you enjoyed this little blip of my ramble, um, please do all the standard YouTube things like share, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like what you've heard, if you're, if I'm not really your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I'll hopefully see you soon. And then here's my nice segue into pictures and video of the store. Yay. All right. Bye.